we're gonna run slats one by twos all the way down through here rows and rows and rows every two foot what's that about eight runs across here all the way down on this one we're gonna attach our osb to the top of that so the slats will be attached all to the rafters osb on that this thing is gonna be beautiful Another board? He's marking for the first sheet. Two inch overhang. Or the top of our board was 49 and a quarter. So an inch and a quarter down to the center for four feet. We're gonna pop that line right there. Yeah? Uh -uh. Starting off the first sheet. Four foot line with a two inch overhang. Two inch overhang on the end. Put a screw in it. Go down through this whole thing, screwing it off. What's that, buddy? Right where the rafters are screwed. On this one, we smashed in the gutter, made it flat, put a two by four here on the outside edge, wrapped that with a piece of metal. Stay tuned. The reason I put that in there is because from the outside, four feet in, there was a dip. So I eliminated probably about 80% of it. So we're in the 90%. Uh, I got a quarter. I'm good. I got a quarter. That's perfect. That's where I want to go.
This place is going to be uh, beautiful for as long as this man needs it to be. Um, he knows he's not going to be here for that much longer and he doesn't want to buy a new house to put in here. So this is his house. And uh, from what he's telling me, he's not going anywhere. Um, his wife's already at a nursing home. So he just wants to make this thing livable. It's not leaking. For the next maybe 10 years, he figures, to be honest with you. And, um, you know, with uh, God's will, um, he'll live longer than that. But he's thinking that. He literally, literally told me. So he said, if I get 10 years, I'll be happy. Um, so everybody, give this guy some prayers. He's a good old boy. Plenty of uh, medical issues. He's um, 69 years old. So he's kind of still young, really. But um, he says, if I can get 10 more years out of my mobile home, then my brothers can worry about it from there after. So uh, I'm hoping to get him a lot more than that. So uh, anyways, thank you for watching, everybody. And every place, no matter what it is, this is a mobile home. But it's, did you notice the end word is home? This is a home for somebody. So this man says, it's my home. Get me 10 years. So I'm, that's why I say 90%, you know, you might not get 100 on everything. I'm going to on this roof, but on most part, you don't get 100. So you just do get what you can get. Do it the best you can. And uh, anybody can do it. If it's made of wood, you can fix it. It's been a long, hard day. I've been working all the time. Whew. Grandpa is tired, worn out. <laughs> to be honest with you, I about just about had all I want to do in the day. I'm, I'm you're quiet, will you? And this is my video. <laughs> This is my video. <laughs> uh, I can tell it the way I want to. <laughs> we ain't done. King. I said you are the mobile home king. You did it. Couldn't do it without my paw. That's for sure. I could not. And Jesus. Everything through Jesus. Lord have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. I wouldn't even got up this morning if it wasn't for him. Wouldn't be here on this earth if it wasn't for him. <clears throat> What's next? Rubber. We gotta get the rubber off my trailer. No, oh, come on. Measure this thing. Uh oh. Bad screw, bad screw. Cut our rubber accordingly. Yeah. Probably take that out tomorrow. I'm talking to the camera. Whew. Comes the hard part. 
Keep the ladder from pulling out. Got one right straight to the other end, right? Yep. Right down there. Yep. Oh, oh. Yeah, I, I got not enough. Pull it straight. I got plenty. More than that. Yeah. All we need to do is come back this way four inches. We're good. You got that on the Huh? You got that on the See it. I'm gonna pull it back. Uh, oh, no, I got two inches, but it's good for tonight. Paul. Tomorrow's another day. We're gonna go on the inside, jack it up. You'll see us doing that. Bring them raptors back up. We'll sister the sides of them all the way to the top plate, which is good. Thank you, Lord. And um, yeah, we should be in good shape. No worries. All right, we're gonna work our way to the inside, get this lifted up, get everything done on the outside we need to get done. Come back up here, start our plywood again. Rock and roll. All right, so we went on the inside, braced it all up. Now it's nice and flat across the ceiling. Oh yeah, that's nice. the sag is gone, Paul. Put that down right away. We still want to put a piece of blocking in there for him to yep. screw to later. Yep. Right, that's nice. Fortunately for us, we are putting a new roof on this, so we were able to cut a hole in this. If you weren't able to do it from the top like we were blessed with, uh, you would have to tear the ceiling down on the inside. He does not want to tear the ceiling down if he doesn't have to. So I feel like this is going to keep him from being able to having to do that. Re-insulated. If you want to learn how to do this roof right here, you watch my videos enough, you'll get a pretty good general idea of what's going on. And then by the time you get up there and start doing it, you'll be like, oh, okay, well, I got that. It's pretty easy. One roll. That's how you get it up here. Yes, sir. All right, guys, it is time. Time for the glue down, baby. Glue down, and I'll show you what we use. Right here at the beginning, this is what we use. Oh, oh, oh.
as far as we want to go with the glue we'll go any further than that it's a pain in the butt We all glued on? Yep. We're all glued on, dude. All glued on. We are glued on, guys. We did it. Second day so far. We'll come back next week on Monday, pull all these edges back, install all of our two by fours all the way around, and wrap it with metal. And to be honest with you, by if we don't finish it on Monday, we'll finish it for sure on Tuesday. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll finish this Tuesday for sure. And then, uh, what are we gonna do? I guess I got an appointment. PDM lap sealing. We are sealing the laps, connecting the rubber one piece to the next. The next product will be Adhesive, <clears throat> mule hide tape primer adhesive. That's the next step. How's it looking, Paul? Right yeah. Is it? Yeah, two inches one. I'm gonna go by. Right. I got one down there. Now I'm just we've got it installed. Temporary, just screw, screw, screw it a couple feet, and now we're going back and put some more screws in it. Does it go in, huh? Yeah. Buckled out right there a little bit.
Ahí There it is, so beautiful, so beautiful. Well, that look makes the whole place look different, Paul. Oh, yeah, it did. Whole place. They won't make it look different, eh? They don't make it look the same. Made that way. Yeah. Yep.